Welcome to the Connector Update. Today I'm going to show you what's new with my little program. As you can see, Connector supports anime characters now. You can control what kind of humans you want to animate with the Connector ini file now. If you set this to MBL Anime, it will work with the anime version of Manuel Bastioni Lab humans. If you set it to human, it will work for the other types. Um, this is necessary because of the shape keys in the face. They're quite different. Now this here is an IP address and by default it's pointing to the host itself, which means you have Connector and Blender running on the same machine. If you happen to have Blender running on a different machine, for example a Linux machine or an OS X or Mac OS machine, then you can change the IP address to that machine's IP and the data from Connector will be sent to that machine. Now, what has changed from the previous version? Let me show you the Connector window and you will notice there is a new slider down here, face strength. Now it's at 0.8, which means, well, the facial expressions are really weak. I can increase that slider, and now there's much more going on in the face, right? Um, so this allows you to change how strong the expressions are going to be on the fly. And another interesting feature down here, you can actually filter now what should be moving or animated and what not. So we can only animate the head, so let me put the hands in a reasonable position. Now only, oh, now only the face is moving, so only expressions, and actually the hand states. And why this is, I'm going to explain in a minute. We can also just have the whole head, so you can move the head, but the rest of the body stands still. Or, the total opposite, we don't have facial expressions and only the body is doing its thing. Why would this be of any use? Well, Manuel Bastioni Lab 1.5 supports importing uh, BVH files, which are motion capture files, and lets you animate the character with very natural looking animations. So for that, I'm going to use the Make Walk plugin and load an animation into that human. Uh, run backwards, always a good thing. So now, our character has moved to another position. And if I'm going to play him, he is running backwards. So that's the previously captured motion that is applied to the human now. Now it would be a bit awkward if we would also apply the movements that uh, is captured by Connector, so I can only animate maybe the head, have the animation run again, and now you can see that uh, if all goes well, let's see, uh, where is it? Here we are. Maybe I should change the camera here. Yeah, probably something like this. Let me check this out. I'm going to turn it. Right, so maybe I'll move it back some more. And also, as here the keyframes stop at 95, so I'm just going to change this to 95 as well. So, this looks much better. Now you notice that he does actually look back, so this is an animation as well from the head, from that BVH file. I might just use facial expression in this case, so we don't, don't have any interference. I'm going to restart the connector, and now you can see my mouth is moving as I speak. <laughs> and this is a great way with that you can combine any pre-recorded animation and have, for example, like here, facial expression, expressions added to the movements. 
And as most BVH files I came across don't support hand animation or hand stay, as you can see, I can open and close my hands and the character will do this as well. Yeah? Hope you enjoy this. Have fun. Bye now.